and tapes, publisher's clearing house. Hey, shit ass. What are you doing here? Oh, Miss Romano, uh, Julie left this key with a note. Uh, Say she was hooking, and I should drop by if I wanted, uh, you know, blow job, rimming, golden, golden showers. showers. <laughs> you read the note. Yeah. Then you know that she's going to give it at no charge. It's a hundred bucks or no sex. And if you can't afford that, Schneider, go stick your key in a different hole. Hey. Uh, Hey, Ms. Romano, I think you better be a little more careful. I mean, you wouldn't want to injure anything that you may want to use one day, you know? I, look at you, you're not getting any younger, and uh, oh. being a divorced woman, you probably haven't had any in a while. I live in the building. I'm quite a stud. Use me. <laughs> I'd rather sniff a gram of Coke. Well, with Mackenzie on set, there's plenty around. Uh, 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 mm. There's your stash right here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, great, Pat. Blow the line, blow the scene, make us do it over Look, again. Look, Bonnie, it's just getting a little sick and tired of putting up with her crap. I mean, uh -huh. I'm a star, you're an actress, we're both professionals, and yet Mackenzie gets so much more than us. Yeah, like what? Well, don't you think it's strange that she's off right now blowing coke? And now where's some you blowing farts everywhere? <laughs> out! Out! Get off the set with your stinking ass! Beat all it! All right, all right, Bonnie. But just remember, when we first started, you and I fucked a few times, uh, all right? Uh, I thought maybe we could go to the director together about this. Uh, You'll be real lucky to work in this town again, Pat. Yeah, well, if this show's canceled, you'll be lucky to tramp your red bush onto the love boat. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh. Oh. Mr. Director, keep him rolling. Fine. <laughs> mm. You asshole. Mm. Oh. Hey, yeah. David. I mean, Richard. Uh, Richard. What are you doing here? Well, You're not even in this episode. They cut you out, remember? Well, well, of course I am. I distinctly remember that I walk in and I, I kiss you, but, but and then I look up at the ceiling. The rewrite. I look up again, yeah. and then I walk over yeah. here, and I, I straighten they this picture this. on the wall, and then I walk over they here again. They rewrote this, you stupid fool. You're not in this episode. What? Everybody's blowing this show today. What? I most certainly am in this episode. Look. I know you're trying to get me off the show. Oh. You haven't liked me since day one, but you're nothing but a big, fat, fucking bitch. Uh. You are. Stupid faggot. Don't be calling me a stupid faggot. I may be a stupid faggot, but I'm a working faggot. Look at you. What have you done? About 20 years ago, you did two episodes of Gidget. I mean, it's ridiculous. Well, what have you got to look forward to? Save the children? For the price of a cup of coffee, okay. I'm embarrassed, but look, the fact is, I'm the star of the show. You work for me. Oh, the star. The star. Yeah. Howdy Doody was a star, you butt-ugly fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, God. come on. God. No, listen to no. me. Bonnie, let's go <laughs> no, out to dinner. No. Let's fucking get out of here. Ooh, boy, did that suck. What did you think, Ted? I thought it was awful. Yeah, well... We'll get another hour, Ted. Take a break, okay? Everybody out. Well, I thought Mackenzie was absolutely fabulous. Huh. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, Miss Fabulous. Blue Alliance, Mr. Q's. She's completely worthless as an actress. Yes, but the fans love her. Fans love her, but sponsors don't. Uh, that's just not fair. Oh, this is television, honey. Nothing's fair. 
Besides, Bonnie doesn't like her. I think Mackenzie's good enough for her own series. Her own series? <laughs> Who would watch it? Vegetables? God, please stop it. I've had it. Now, either Mackenzie gets her own series or, or else. Oh, or else what? She walks? Boy, that's quite a threat. I'll just feature Bonnie more. You serious? I want Bonnie out. Oh, oh no, Mackenzie's out. All right. I'm sure we can work out some sort of a deal. Hmm. A deal. Yes. I think so. Why don't you come to my apartment and we'll talk about it tonight. Say, 8 o'clock. Make sure you bring a few things. A wetsuit, jar of Miracle Whip, and a live toy poodle. Well... Hello. Hello? Sharon? Sharon? No, you have the wrong number. Don't call back. Hello? Hello, is Sharon there? Hello? Sharon? Hello? Is Sharon there? Hello? Hello, is she... Now, oh, fuck. Hello, nudie nudes. What? Nudie nudes. Is, is Sharon there? Sharon, this is a nudie bar, kid. 1-800-DENTIST. May I help you? Is Sharon there? Sharon? Sharon. No. Mm, I'm so hot. Hello, is Sharon there? Oh, uh, Sharon. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Wrong number. <laughs> what number are you dialing? Hello? Hi, Sharon? This is Sharon. Hey, it's Mackenzie. And Mackenzie who? Just kidding. What do you want? She's on the phone now. I wonder what's happening. I'm gonna go listen. Sharon, look, give it to me straight. I'm not getting my own show, am I? Am I? Look, Mackenzie, you've no idea what I had to do today with a live toy poodle just to keep you on the program. Bonnie's the star of the show, you know that. Sharon, listen, if you're on the phone with the cocaine, get off, dinner's ready. Okay, look, Mackenzie, I'm having dinner with Lee Grant. I've got to go. Bonnie's in charge. I'd call Norman Lear if I thought it would do any good, but I know it won't. Everybody kisses her ass. I hate Bonnie Franklin.